another episode of Solid Box TV. I'm Chris, your host. Today we're going to talk about an upgrade that you can do to your M6600. Now we typically do this upgrade here at the lab at Solid Box, but if you're already a Solid Box customer or if you already own a Dell M6600, you should definitely consider this upgrade. Now what we typically encourage our customers to do is to upgrade to solid state hard drives. We also encourage them to upgrade to the high performance RAM that's available aftermarket or through the Solid Box store. And we're going to show you how to do both those upgrades today in this episode. I can't tell you enough how great solid state hard drives are. The Dell 6600 supports the SATA 3 uh, hard drive standard and that allows you to get up to 6 gigabits per second of data transfer rate um, through a solid state hard drive. That equates to a lot of uh, uh, read write speed. Now uh, we're using the Samsung drives. They're 256 gigabytes. It's a very awesome drive. It's reliable. It's not the cheapest drive. But it's the one that we've been using and we love it, so we're going to install that today. We're actually going to take two of these drives and do a RAID 0 configuration to get double the capacity and almost double the performance. So a lot of fun with that. The RAM that we're, that we're using is the Kingston HyperX RAM. It's rated at 1600 megahertz, which is uh, quite a bit faster than the standard uh, factory RAM that you get from Dell. The thing I like about it is it has this heat sink that will dissipate the heat and I find this RAM to be far more reliable than the factory RAM that you get through the Dell option and uh, typically I've never seen a blue, blue, uh, blue screen crash when I use this RAM. So we encourage all of our customers to upgrade to this when they purchase a solid box. Now you may have seen with our previous videos an installation of the RAM on a 6500. It's a little different with this chassis and we're going to be the first to cover how to do that here on the on the episode and we're going to get started by taking or turning the system over and taking the battery out so ask my lovely cameraman to come up and do a, a close-up of what we're doing here just taking out the battery now i've done a few things to make it easier i'm using a, a number zero screwdriver phillips screwdriver to take out these two screws right here once those two screws are removed, you simply push outward on the system, on the uh, this bottom tray. It's all one piece. It'll come off. Now I'm gonna put this aside. I feel like a cooking show here. Now this is very similar to the 6500, but there's some key differences. Same approximate location of components. You got your secondary hard drive, your primary hard drive under here. It's no longer directly accessible through this side. They made a huge improvement to this. It actually comes out through the side now, through there. So we're going to show you how to get to there. I actually took the liberty of taking a few screws out. I took the four screws that would exist here, here, one below here, and there. So four total to remove the secondary hard drive. And once you've got those four, you can just simply pull this tab and then up and out. And you'll notice this cradle here. We actually uh, unscrew those four black screws and simply drop our two and a half inch uh, solid state hard drive into that same location. Keeping in mind to keep the same location of the, of the SATA connectors. Okay. We'll do that here shortly. Let's just take this and put it aside. By the way, one thing I totally recommend you do is before you take this hard drive out, go ahead and format it uh, if possible through the Windows utility. If not, then keep it aside and uh, when you reinstall it into another system, you could take that opportunity to format it. Right. This one is a little more interesting. This, this primary hard drive is a little more interesting. What I went ahead and did was I loosened these four screws here. There's one, two, three, and, and four. Now, interestingly enough, it has the letter H on them. Okay. So I'll remove those. And the thing is, is you'll find that I'm using a magnetic tip screwdriver. I know you're thinking magnet hard drive. Uh, the magnetic properties here are not enough to, to actually pull that, that screw up. So you'll see here in a second. I'll uh, have to get creative on how I get that screwed out. I'm just making sure to loosen them all up. Just, just those four. Oh, this, oh, almost got that one. And you'll see here what I'll do, uh, my secret trick to get them out is just turn it upside down. But there's a, another one you need to be very careful to remove, and it's this one. This is the, the hard drive uh, release. So there's a screw right here. Make sure to take that out. Oh, these are smaller. This is a smaller screw than the, the uh, other, um, other screws. So I just kind of keep them in a pile of similar screws 
And when I, when, if I try to pull this full latch, it won't quite come out because those screws are still there. So I'll just turn over the system, just kind of keep them close. And I'll just dump the four screws there. Got lucky, got them all. These are longer, they're the longest screws. So I put these aside, to make sure I don't lose them. All right, so now, wow, well, it already feels lighter. Amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and now, you see how easy that was? I just slap that out. What I really like about this is if you're really, if you're real confident in not needing these screws here to secure your hard drive, you can actually kind of make this what I call a cold swap hard drive. So you can have one hard drive that has say maybe uh, Windows 7, Windows 7 64 bit, another hard drive that has Linux, uh, the 32 bit version. You can do different OS's and all sorts of things on different hard drives and just swap them in and out of the system. You'll have to purchase the Caddy from us or through, the, or through Dell, but it makes for a quick boot up uh, to different OS option feasible. So we got the two hard drives out. So just kind of showing you here, there's two different Caddies and we're gonna swap out, swap the uh, mechanical hard drives with our solid states next. 